And yes, we are staying at the Honeymoon Suites. Hey guys, welcome to part four of our Greek honeymoon. If you've been following the last few videos in this series, you already know that we've been spending the last few days in Santorini, Greece. We are just about at the halfway point of our trip. We landed on Monday evening, and it is now Wednesday afternoon. Lucas and I both already feel like our trip has been so full of joy, and we're so excited that we still have three full days left here on this beautiful island. I think I'm gonna end the last video with this morning morning's clip and I'm going to start this video with a hotel room tour that I am so excited to share. Quick disclaimer, Lucas and I never stay in luxury hotels, but since this is our honeymoon and since we had to delay our honeymoon a whole year, we decided to kind of treat ourselves to an experience of a lifetime. So with that said, for the next three nights, Lucas and I are staying at the Art Mason's Ia Castle Luxury Hotel. And yes, we are staying at the honeymoon suite. I am actually starting this video at the front door of our hotel room. So without further ado, let's show you where we'll be staying for the next three nights. Okay, so this is the front door as you enter and immediately to the left is a window which I will show you guys the view in a little bit followed by just kind of like a sitting area. We also have a little welcome gift for our honeymoon which is so sweet of the staff to do. We just have some little treats as well as a bottle to share tonight so we will definitely be opening that later today. Immediately to the right of the door is the very beloved air conditioner. Very necessary and August and Santorini and then we have a little like storage area I would say they called it a changing room but it has some robes and slippers the towels and then another place to hang up your clothes the porter that delivered our luggage was amazing and so incredibly sweet so we're so so grateful that we didn't have to break a sweat because if you've never been to Santorini you should know now that there are a lot of steps and a lot of walking and so when hotels provide porters to transfer your luggage it is so so helpful and then right here all also in the entryway is just a nice television with cable and we also have a Nespresso machine. There's also a selection of teas here and I believe down here is a fridge, complimentary water and then I think this is where all the uh, mugs and stuff are stored. And then if you walk this direction, this is our bed where we'll be sleeping tonight. Again, another beloved air conditioner for the master room as well. <laughs> There's also a nice little desk and then over here is the door to the bathroom it's a staircase let me turn on the light so it leads a staircase all the way up to the bathroom so cute it's a little wet since we just used it but yeah here's the sink toilet obviously and then this is our rainfall shower which I am so excited about there's a little window but yeah this is our bathroom here's me and then we'll just go back down the stairs. This is way more space than two people need. But yes, so literally zero complaints with our lovely honeymoon suite. If we just had this room as is, Lucas and I would already be so excited about it. But I haven't even shown you guys the best part. So let me take you outside. I'm gonna take so many pictures right here. There's the stairs that we walked up. I don't know if the audio can hear me because I think it's too windy, but if you can hear me, Lucas and I literally walked up all of these steps yesterday. 281. Was it 281? Yeah. It was so exhausting, but I'm really proud of us. It was our workout for this whole trip. But yeah, this is a Moody Bay right here. And then sunset is supposed to be over there. And then this is obviously our killer freaking view. And then our private jacuzzi. 
so this is the part that I am definitely excited about. It's a little windy, so I'm not sure if the audio will pick up, but this is definitely what we have been looking forward to the most. We have a private balcony that faces sunset. So this is our view, and there's Lucas. This is where we'll be staying in the next three nights. Obviously, we're gonna be spending most of our time on our balcony. I think the rest of the plan for today is just to enjoy it. Luke and I are both gonna change so we can get into the jacuzzi. And the staff left us a bottle of champagne, so I think we're going to pop it open and enjoy it until sunset. Good morning, it is the next day. As you guys saw, we watched the sunset right from our hotel room's balcony. It was absolutely perfect and kind of insane to see how many people gather in the streets just to see the beautiful Ia sunset. I totally see now why everyone is obsessed over watching the sunset here in Santorini and I am so excited to see the sunset again tonight as well as tomorrow night. So we have two more Santorini sunsets to watch before we take off. The view was absolutely perfect. It was completely unobstructed from any other building. We saw the sunset right above the water. So to be quite honest, for the next couple of days, we don't have any other plans other than to just hang out at our hotel and enjoy the views right from our room. And to eat, of course. So far, the Art Mason's Hotel has been amazing to us. Not only do we have an amazing room with an amazing view, we also have some incredible staff that have been helping us out. I forgot to update you guys yesterday, before before we got to the key to the room, check out in our first hotel was at 11 a.m. and then check in it wasn't until 3 p.m. here at Art Mason's. Thankfully, the hostess that had us at the Lexus VIP Suites, she let us extend until about 1 p.m. so that we only had a couple hours before checking in to the next hotel. What we didn't know until Art Mason's told us was that they actually have a sister property called Aspaki over on a different part of Ia. The view there is also absolutely stunning and we actually actually have access to their amenities at that hotel in addition to the amenities at this one. So after we checked in around 1.30ish with our concierge, she recommended that we go ahead and have lunch over at the Aspaki Hotel and it was crazy beautiful. We got to enjoy lunch practically by ourselves because you can't have lunch at the restaurant unless you are a guest. I'm not gonna lie, the exclusivity made it a little bit fun. We definitely felt like some VIP members. And on top of that, the lunch was amazing. Lucas had gyro and tzatziki and then I had shrimp pasta and ended with dessert. I got Greek yogurt, surprise surprise, with some fresh fruit and then Lucas had a chocolate pie. We loved having lunch at the Spocky especially with the stunning view and just the quiet atmosphere. Our concierge is actually planning dinner reservations for us at the Spocky restaurant this Friday so we'll be back and I am so excited. The concierge also helped us get dinner reservations at Ia Hiefsis, I think is how you pronounce it. We had dinner there. Lucas ordered the lamb shank and I ordered some lobster and it's a Greek lobster, which is definitely a little bit different than the one we have back in Boston. Now that I've caught you guys up on all the things that happened yesterday, the first thing on today's agenda is to have breakfast here at the hotel. Breakfast is included, so we're excited to see what they have on the menu, but it is on site. And then afterwards is super important. We are going to do a walk an appointment over at the doctor in Ia to get a rapid COVID test. Not only is a rapid COVID test required in order to return back home to the States, it's also required for our connecting flight in London, so we absolutely need to get that done before we can head to the airport on Saturday. Okay, so I feel like I updated you guys on all the things. For now, the plan is breakfast and COVID test, and then Lucas and I are planning on just enjoying this hotel, so I'll check in with you guys later today.
are back at the hotel. The good news is that both Lucas and I tested negative for COVID, so we are in the clear to head back to the States on Saturday. Getting the COVID test was extremely easy. It took us like not even 10 minutes. On the way to the doctor, of course, we passed by quite a few shops. Lucas and I saw this photograph of this beautiful picture taken in Ia. We ended up purchasing at the art gallery. They don't allow photos, so I actually don't have any photo or video footage of the piece that we selected. On the way back from the doctor, we saw another art gallery that had some paintings that were created by a local artist here in Santorini. And I personally fell in love with an art print, so we also purchased that one as well. I'm thinking about doing doing kind of like a what we bought in Greece video here soon so I'll be sure to show you guys photos of the art pieces that we selected as well as some of the souvenirs and other treasures that we found in all these shops. The rest of the plan today is really just to enjoy our private jacuzzi and our balcony and just soak in the sun and the views. We're probably going to find lunch at some point and then we also have dinner reservations which are made for us by our hotel concierge again at Karma tonight for dinner so I will bring you guys along with us. 